good day welcome to Revit 2023 from Multinet Design in this Manson project we are creating so we want to develop the upper floor that is the level one but if you are not following us please kindly click subscribe button to always following help us share and like and put your comments on the comment section so that we know where we are lagging behind and quickly flow through so but most important click subscribe button on this channel because of the projects we are creating we are going to create this one to the end so that you will be notified immediately when we update this update the project now what you need to do is that this is set to this done the interior aspect we are going to work on it in later on but for now we want to replicate and duplicate and we design the hopper flow so click here and say select on instance in this view so what do you do click here say select on instance in this view so click on copy to clipboard Go to level 2 and say align to current view. No, something is missing. Align to current view is not showing. So go to level 2. Say align to current view. Mm -hmm. So you bring it back to level two. So when you go at the formalization, you have it. So there's something that is missing in the foundation layer. So you go to your architecture and click on level, then you draw new call the foundation level. So at that level since you have selected that so you go to level 3 or you rename it first you can rename it from here say so rename so you call it foundation it's going to update itself from this particular space press enter and you see so when you go there foundation this one is showing but it does not matter so what is there is that at this space you do the same process you did there again and say select and say align to current view so everything is going to be brought to this space mm. so how do you do that go to your elevation are you seeing it so everything is double do not bother about that all you need to concern is that go back here and click on property click here and say property so the floor property you go there and look at the view range it's very important when you are doing your design view range so it really allow you to limit your view only to this uh, particular design so your, your view range will be 700 because your head idea is a uh, six i mean one one thousand so 700 so everything is being cleared off on that line whatsoever that is not reasonable from the level one now how do you work on this that everything you are seeing here will be only for this place so select here and say select all instance in this view so now the unconnected height is what you need to change took this one up and say connect and you call it 800 delete all instance so those ones are gone so when you go at go to look at it from the elevation you see where well, you are still having some issue with your with your what is it called with door and everything so it does not matter this is minus 1000 your slab is what have issue you come to come back to that place and work on it so go back here and you say select all instance in this place and the same thing all it does then you press delete you don't want to see any of them so they are all gone so when you go back there at that level all the doors are 
disappeared so here now look at what is the height to the building that is 200 so you change this I say duplicate duplicate slab duplicate this and put it in 200 what's your issue mm good so everything snaps to order so let's bring slab into this so this we click on this and we'll say copy and you see align to selected level this level 2 can you see so here you change this to to generic one that of which is 150 so snap to that why this one is a uh, 200 this one is 150 now we are done with this uh, fundamental so we can now rearrange the rooms the way we want them to be like this like this and this so we work on them now so i'm bringing this to I'm deleting some, we are arranging some like this place. I'm deleting them so I want them to have access to veranda. Now, let me edit the stair or click here staircase. I'm editing the staircase, putting them in order to delete. Do the same thing here. Trim everything. Good. So that's what you do here. Let's put those in a position where they're supposed to be. So the next thing that is, I don't want this self at the back. Mm -hmm. So I'm aligning it. Okay, send the at the the ground floor. I want to be seen. So I have done this one. The room is still maintained. The steer. So but one thing is that I need to create. Good. So we have this in place. So you can toggle on your whether what you are doing is fundamentally right or not. So you do and work on that. So as you have done it, this space to where space is supposed to be, delete this. I think this one is not needed. There's another floor. Okay. Leave this open space. Then you delete this or uh, to leave it to serve for a purpose. Okay, it is okay. 
okay I'll need this for a purpose so give them that way so this one will serve as master room another room another room another room so that's how it works so here I'm bringing this So most of these are uh, major indicates that we are still going to work on but our priority is to verify the elevation for those who want to know how the complexity of the roof we are going to touch everything one after the other in this project. So one, we are not going to miss any kind of uh, topic. So that is for this in this pattern. So let me quickly do what creates a pillar for everyone to see. So you click here and you select the columns that you want to create, put them in place, say column, say yes, okay, column say you click here, addition, and you put the column at the far front end by clicking on rectangle, create that. So it will be of 300 by 300. So copy that. From here, lay it here. Good. Put it here. Good. So you have to here as well. You can delete this so that this one will be centralized. Then you mirror it within these center points. So you have this in place. Click OK and go to your sides. Then drag, drag it down and drag it up. So these are the pattern which this thing is going to rest on. So this will be what we need to do. And when you look at it from 3D, what do you get? Is it appealing? Good. So it's taking the form of what we are expecting to have. So this one, we are going to drag most of them and join them. So you look at the foundation. I click here and say click similar go on and do your work click here good escape click here good so go to your 3d view align align from 3d align to this point align from 2d align it align the align it so you have those space in place so so good so the next we're going to do which is the next project is that we are going to work on this roof and bring about the step up proof and everything and we'll be fitting this elevation according to the way it is so thanks for watching continue to subscribe to our channel and we we'll give you the best